Hi everyone, uh, today is September 6th and we're talking a little bit about what we did on the uh, weekend. So in the event for people in the States who had a three day weekend for Labor Day, um, this would be the first day back afterwards. Um, for everybody else, it's a Tuesday, so the weekend was just like Saturday, Sunday. But here in Mexico, basically it was Saturday, Sunday. Um, for Saturday, um, I went to a morning exercise routine um, that was uh, like at eight in the morning, and I had uh, just kind of started back <clears throat> on Friday. Um, since my kids uh, are back at school now, and uh, the kind of the morning routine. Um, I, I won't be uh, driving them in the morning, uh, so that does allow me to um, go back into a uh, morning routine um, at like 7.30 to 8 on weekdays. And then uh, on, the, on the weekend, there's an 8 in the morning uh, session. Um, so I did that uh, for the morning. And um, and then uh, afterwards, kind of uh, getting getting breakfast, uh, relaxing a little bit, and then um, in the afternoon, uh, I went with my kids to a sporting goods store, um, and. Um, and uh, for that, like, um, the, I mean, the kids love playing around in there, trying stuff out. And the, I mean, the Decathlon, there's, there's always just tons of, tons of stuff uh, for camping, cycling, hiking, swimming, tennis, badminton, ping pong, uh, racket, ball, um, skating, skateboarding, horseback riding, um, running, uh, basketball, football, um, rugby, uh, gym equipment, home, home gym equipment for exercise, uh, weights, dumbbells, machines, um, clothing, um, shoes, mm, just a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of everything. Um, that you can think of for, for exercise and sports and, and, and leisure, uh, outdoor activities and things like that. So um, I really just went to get like two things. I needed to get some extra uh, exercise socks for, for, like, for running, um, but basically for the exercise at the gym. And then I picked up a resistance band um, uh, and, and actually my son was consulting me a little bit because uh, he got these resistance bands for a, um, an exercise bar uh, that he's been using um, and he's getting like really strong with his upper arms and, and doing pull-ups and, and, and doing using the, uh, using the resistance bands to kind of support him sometimes using it a, a, like a swing but but he ends up doing a lot of exercise uh, with, with the bar and with the resistance band and so um, I was trying out the different different bands and uh, I picked up one that was was a little more resistant so I could do some more uh, things for the the upper arm strength and also figure out things that can help for um, the the legs as well with it um, because I have these other um, cables that I can connect to like the door frame uh, or, or use several of them together, but it, it doesn't quite have um, the same um, the same usage as a, as a resistance band. Uh, so yeah, my home um, home areas is like getting a few more things that can help uh, when I'm not going to the gym um, and uh, and then in the evening, um, 
the kids went with their grandparents, so um, I um, uh, forget what I was doing on. Oh, oh yeah, Saturday afternoon, I watched a uh, football game uh, between uh, Notre Dame and Ohio State. Uh, apparently, that's a very rare um, encounter between those two teams going back for about 90 or so years. Uh, they've only met uh, or competed. Um, this was the seventh time. Um, so I think that they're both big team, Big Ten teams, but their schedules um, don't always coordinate compared to some other ones like Ohio State and Michigan where... Um, They've been they've met um, over a hundred times, so uh, there are certain rivalries that are just kind of every season. Um, and a long time ago, before there was the kind of traveling across the country, sometimes they would uh, meet more than once in the same season. So that that's created some of those long, um, long-standing um, competitions. Um, and yeah, um, and then Sunday uh, I was using um, the access finally to the uh, the the gym in my uh, condominium. Um, when I first moved here, um, it was just really the all the COVID restrictions, so I wasn't. Uh, <coughs> So I wasn't able to to go check out what was um, was in the gym, and then I saw that like recently um, they had been they had changed the you know, the door uh, and they installed some other door, and I saw some information from the, uh, the administrators. <coughs> Sorry, um, it, seems, it feels like I have some allergy or something. Um, so uh, I took advantage to um, check out the equipment that they have there. And I saw, I mean, they have a treadmill. Um, what else do they have? Uh, some, uh, the cycling, um, sitting and uh, standing, or, or I mean, not standing, cycling, but um, with the different positions. I mean, definitely sitting. Uh, and using the legs uh, extended or kind of on a kind of a stationary bike. Also uh, for the, the Stairmaster, kind of stepping one. And then they also had one uh, that allows for um, leg exercises and, and upper body exercises with a number of positions and, and um, yeah, diff different angles for, and, and setting the, the weights. Um, uh, for various sets. So I'm going to look online to uh, um, find out more about how I can use that um, uh, how I can use that equipment um, to further strengthen uh, um, what I on top of what I'm doing um, each day now for the uh, for, with the coaches. Um, and then um, I started to receive uh, a meal plan uh, so I could check out the options, different options for the for the morning or for the breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, a snack if necessary. And then, um, so I started on that on Sunday and then was also kind of cooking for at least a day, day and a half and have that in the, uh, the fridge so in case Things were, were busy. Um, I would have some options uh, without having to kind of work, go through something when I was hungry, um, and that was starting to help. And I could definitely see the smaller, smaller size portions. Uh, I mean, I had already been eating um, some good food, which was already on on that list of ingredients and, and ideas. Just I was eating eating like too much of it, so this was keeping me a bit more um, ca conscious of the size and going like, okay, I don't, I'm not going on a six hour hike, I'm gonna go eat and then I work from home. So worst case scenario, uh, the kitchen's right there. 
um, so I don't have to kind of pack up uh, like a squirrel or something on, on a bunch of food. Um, so uh, between the exercise and the um, these uh, meal plans, um, I, I think this is a, a good start for the, uh, at least for like the school year aspect from September onward, um, taking advantage of the, the kids going back to school as a starting a new habit. Yeah. Um, hola a todos. Hoy es el día 6 en septiembre y estamos hablando un poco sobre el fin de semana. Um, uh, seguí con un uh, nuevo hábito de uh, hacer ejercicio en la mañana. Entonces fui a una sesión a las 8 con otras personas uh, de, la, de, de la comunidad y luego en la tarde fui a una tienda de deportes con mis hijos y siempre que entramos pues queremos como comprar todo y mi hija necesitaba nuevos uh, zapatos y yo aproveché para comprar unos calcetines de deportes y una banda de resistencia entonces eso me ayuda a hacer unas otras cosas en casa además de lo que estoy haciendo uh, en el uh, gym y en la tarde vi un partido uh, de um, tenis, uh, no, no, de, de fútbol americano uh, entre Notre, Notre Dame y Ohio State y el domingo uh, aproveché para conocer uh, el gimnasio dentro de mi condominio y ver qué aparatos hay y qué cosas puedo usar allá. Entonces lo reservé por una hora y eso me ayudaba a seguir haciendo uh, tres días consecutivos de, de deportes en la mañana y ahora estoy como a cinco días. Y cociné, um, preparé um, unas cosas de, uh, con una nueva, nueva dieta y estoy, estoy un poco más consciente de las porciones uh, porque pues uh, estoy trabajando en casa, no necesito uh, como hacer todo un uh, montón de comida y luego sentarme, um, no tiene sentido. Entonces, Sí estoy comiendo cosas buenas, pero si, si es demasiado, pues aún es demasiado. Entonces es mejor como controlar un poco más las porciones. Y eso es uh, todo. Um, uh, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, Aujourd'hui c'est le 6 uh, septembre. Je parle un petit peu sur le week-end. Uh, J'ai continué à faire de l'exercice le matin. Et l'après-midi, je suis allé au magasin de sportif euh, Decathlon avec mes enfants. Et puis, euh, 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 on a acheté des nouvelles chaussures. Et euh, euh, je vais juste présenter ce petit chat qui est là avec moi. Parce que là, je ne sais pas. Combien de temps, euh, combien de temps euh, j'ai avec elle um, uh, Ok, there it goes. Uh, so, uh, oui, on, on est allé au magasin de Decathlon et on a acheté des nouvelles chaussures pour ma fille et j'ai acheté quelques chaussettes sportives et une euh, bande de résistance pour ajouter à ce que j'ai à la maison et l'après-midi j'ai regardé un match de football américain euh, au niveau universitaire et, euh, euh, et quoi d'autre et dimanche euh, j'ai profité pour connaître ce qu'il y a dans le gymnase, euh, dans mon euh, condominium, euh, euh, dans mon cluster, et, euh, et après j'ai mangé avec mes enfants, j'ai préparé quelques, euh, 
quelques ingrédients pour un nouveau euh, régime et je suis un peu plus conscient de, euh, des, des, des tailles, des, des portions. Donc euh, ça, ça m'aide aussi euh, pour perdre un peu de poids. Et le soir, j'ai regardé un, un match de tennis et j'ai passé du temps avec, euh, avec les enfants. Um, et voilà. Um, hallo an alle, heute ist der sechste Tag. Und um, ich spreche ein bisschen darüber die Wochenende. Und um, äh, am Samstag, Samstag, Samstag morgen äh, habe ich ähm, äh, Exercise gemacht äh, mit äh, die, die Coach ähm, und dann ich bin zu äh, Decathlon mit, mein, mit meinen Kindern äh, gegangen. Äh, ich habe ähm, äh, Resistance Band Socks gekauft und äh, für meine Tochter äh, Schu Schuhen ähm, für die Schule und äh, nach Mittagessen ähm, äh, ich habe eine ähm, ähm, ich habe ein Fußball, äh, amerikanische Fußball ähm, Match äh, gesehen ähm, zwischen Notre Dame und Ohio State und äh, Sonntagmorgen äh, ich habe ein Gym äh, wo wohne ich äh, benutzen äh, es war der erste erste Mal ähm, und ich habe ein bisschen äh, Kuchen für eine neue you know, Diet äh, und es hilft mir äh, wissen ähm, wie viel äh, wie, wie viel Essen ist besser für mich und äh, in diesem Moment äh, ich, ich, äh, ich esse gut aber äh, zu viel und dann äh, die Coach ähm, Coacherin ähm, hilft mir ein bisschen besser und ja das ist äh, alle äh, Ciao a tutti oggi e giorno se Parlo un po' del fine settimana, um, nella mattina, sabato, ho fatto uh, una ora di esercizio e um, dopo mangiare uh, ho, so, sono andato al um, Decathlon, um, it's a store, per tutti um, sport um, e um, ho comprato socks and resistant band and shoes uh, scar scarpe per la mia fi figlia um, cosa posso dire è il domenico um, ho fatto esercizio nel gym dove Uh, abito e ah, il sabato ho uh, visto un uh, football game uh, um, con Notre Dame e, e Ohio State e, e questo e ho, uh, il domenico ho cucinato per cominciare il, uh, la nuova settimana questo è e tutto. Uh, всем привет, с вами я. Шестой день в челлендже. Я говорю немного о um, свободных uh, днях. Um, 
se volta o tram uh, de lá o prasninha e posla posla um, a piada uh, e apachou ou e apaiechal a uh, magazine a uh, magazine um, uh, de catlon um, se me uh, diet me e moe pacuma pacupali uh, me escol que Veshi, estou bem de lado, sport. Um, e a uh, Paz Matreo, uh, match, uh, americanski, uh, futebol. E a um, Vascrescenia, e a de lá o Prajnenia, uh, a Jim, a uh, Gitia e a Jibu. E takže já byl v kuchně, že by katovice uh, oběd um, dala uh, ve zkresení i ponedělnek. I to je vše. Um, Bolšové spasíbe, paká.